Hello and welcome to the seventh tutorial in the Codecast Code IDE series. In this part we're going to be looking at running a project on an iOS simulator. This tutorial assumes you have set up and generated a project. To run it on an iOS simulator you will obviously need a Mac plus Xcode needs to be installed, installed, I mean installed as Xcode contains the simulators that we will be using. So let's go ahead and open up Codecast Code IDE. If you've uh, checked out the previous tutorial on how to run on Android, it's very similar steps. Are. So what we're going to do is, first you want to do is open up Debug Configurations, then select iOS Simulator. From here you can select what top simulator. I'm just going to leave you as the default 4S 8.1. I'm happy with that. Just click Apply. And there's two ways to, well, debug your application in an iOS simulator. There is this one which is the iOS debug and it supports breakpoints but it has low performance there's iOS run no breakpoint no breakpoint support but there is higher performance the reason you would use debug is if you're implementing new features you want to be able to debug it at breakpoints make sure it's working that's what you would do and if you're happy with your features you're confident with them and you just want to see how it runs in real life then you will use the iOS run to see the performance of it we're going to do both so I have app.js open here for this application and I'm just going to add a breakpoint right here and I'm just going to click this button and run it, it's just going to open up the simulator and once it does you'll see what happens done because there is a breakpoint and if, we, if I open up simulator it hasn't gone any further than this and the reason is they saying this kind of launch is configured to open the debug perspective when it suspends if I click yes, so it's going to open up the debug perspective. From here, we can check the status of variables, how far it got, any issues, etc. So, if we go back to JavaScript and I click this button instead, which is just Mac run, uh, so it's popping new, so let's just close it. There you go, it is now running. That is the difference between the debug and the regular mode. The next tutorial will cover running your project on a Windows desktop. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on the video or just directly message us via YouTube. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.